One thing that is not going to happen in today's interview mm. is we are not going to make Jackson Vandebreek angry no. in any form or fashion. Because if there's one thing we've learned about the Diamond Heels over these last couple weeks, they're very formidable when you upset them. Yeah. Jackson, Fiery. it is a great pleasure to have you with us today. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Feel free to just do whatever you want because we don't want to make you mad. Uh, this, Tar Heels got a big win last night over Gardner Webb. Got a big series win at Virginia Tech and have a big series coming up with NC State. This is a tough time of year. How do you feel like the Tar Heels are playing as you go into these last seven games? Yeah, I mean, I think we feel really good about things. Um, we had a little bit of that scuffle in there, and then we go to VT. That was kind of big for us. And then pulling that one out last night, kind of get things moving in the right direction. And we're feeling really good going into this weekend. All right, Jackson, uh, we got a lot to talk about. We have seen a ton of just crazy catches from the Diamond Heels this year. You joined the group with a wild grab. Was it uh, UNCW? Is that it was? A couple of, uh, couple of games? Campbell. Campbell. So, tell you, what is it about this team and flashing the leather like we have seen? We've seen some wild plays defensively this year. Yeah, I mean, we got we got athletes all over the place. I think it's obvious in the outfield. Uh, right. They fly around out there, but that was I feel like that was kind of the first opportunity I've had to, you know, make a play like that and ended up working out. So it was kind of cool. Jackson's from the state of Washington. Yeah. How does someone from the state of Washington end up as a Tar Heel? Yeah, well, I was a junior college guy. Um, I give all the credit to my head coach there. He, I mean, developed in there for two years, got a lot better, and then he has the connections. Um, I've talked to Coach Weir's Bicky about this quite a bit. They, I think they just were kind of looking around, needed a guy, saw some numbers, and then got on the phone with me for about a month, and then... Um, they threw an offer at me, and I was like, let's do it. There was not a doubt in my mind that I wanted to do it. <laughs> Have, what has life been like just culturally for you so far away from, from where you're used to? Yeah, I mean, the just kind of the day-to-day. -day, I mean, I try to stay in the routine. Um, it is the first time, like, real college life, like being around a bunch of people. I've never had that before, so I'm enjoying that. Um, but other than that, baseball is baseball. Um, so I'm enjoying it and loving it every day. Well, and, and baseball being baseball, you stepped in right away in the fall and basically haven't been out of the lineup since that day. How were you able to get comfortable on the field and figure out that this is the, the same game you've been playing all along? Yeah, I mean, you definitely kind of, in my situation, you want to come in and kind of prove yourself, show that you belong. Um, and the way that I'd, I was going to do that is I just told myself I was just going to be, be me work hard and you know just try to earn that spot I knew it wasn't going to be given to me um, and that's something I still think about a lot I mean we're this deep into the season I'm still trying to prove myself every day is it difficult when you're coming in and you know you want to play a large role but you are coming in from far away and to be able to fit yourself in with some guys that have been together for the last couple of seasons how, how do you try and manage that yeah, I mean, all you can really do is you go and you work hard and kind of let everything take care of itself. Um, I think coming into the fall, when I first got here, I didn't really know what to expect with the guys coming back or whatever else. Um, so like I said, I was just going to come in, do my thing, and kind of just see what happens. Folks who saw the game last night know there was some excitement in that game. Not necessarily that specific situation, but in terms of on the field, what's the line where like it's good to be fired up and be excited that someone did well? What's the line you don't want to cross where maybe it's a little too much and you think, okay, you, you've done enough now? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely a fine line too because like we, we like the excitement. You know, I, it's, you want to see that sort of thing, but it also, there's a, there's a point where it becomes disrespectful. Um, and when it's directed directly at you or one of your teammates, you just can't, you can't really have that. Um, and we kind of saw last night, it got us going, gave us some energy, and that sort of thing can happen. And that's why if you flip it the other way around, we're never, we talk about we never want to be the ones starting that. You don't want to give a team, you know, any energy like that if you don't need to, so. That's twice now that this team has responded to that energy really well. It happened at Virginia Tech. Yeah. What is it about this team that once once you throw that little spark on the fire, okay, now <laughs> now we're ready to play? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously it's easy to have a chip on your shoulder after something like that happens. Um, we got to figure out a way to start a game like that. You know, play all of our baseball with that energy. Um, it shouldn't take a potential brawl or whatever you want to call it to get us going. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. We want to we want to be able to go into a game with that energy and sustain it the whole time.
Fair to say, I think at this moment, the, the, if the NCAA tournament was today, the Tar Heels would likely be in, but also uh, some important games upcoming. Do you guys push all that away? Do you think about that? Is that something you talk about at all? Um, yeah, I mean, we, it's not something you talk about a bunch. We definitely kind of know where we're at, though. Um, we know if we need to, we need to take care of business is an easy way to put it. We, a couple of huge weekends, midweek games are still big. Um, Seating and all that, you don't really worry about. You kind of just, let's get there and then win a few games and mm -hmm. kind of just see where we're at. But as of right now, we definitely know where we're at and know what we need to do. Okay. What does Lee County Backwoods mean oh. to you? Um, that's kind of just the, uh, that's kind of the attitude that we're talking about. That's kind of like, don't mess with us, you know, like that's, and that's pretty much the only way to put it. You know, like we're going to be tough, and it's, I don't know if you know where it comes from. Uh, Coach Forbes, Lee County, um, so it's kind of a joke as well, but it's kind of just the, uh, you know, we're, we're tough, and it's, we're going to be tough to play, basically. Who, who made the shirt? I actually couldn't tell you. It kind of just showed up one day. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> All right, wait a second. What is yeah, this? We, just put it on, Jackson. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, I showed up to the field, and it's hanging in the dugout, and I'm like, all right, let's rock. <laughs> Coach Forbes is a Sanford man. He knows, uh, he knows all about that. This seems like, and we talked, I think maybe it was Matt Horvath we, we talked about this. This team just seems to really have fun together, seems to like each other a lot. Is that fair to say? I mean, do you feel that way? 100%. I think anybody would say the same thing. We love one another, and, you know, if you don't have that, you don't really have any shot. So I think that that's really important for us, and we're together all the time, love one another, and it'll stay that way. Big weekend coming up for the Diamond Hills NC State coming to Chapel Hill. That's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday series at Boschmer Stadium. Friday and Saturday, I believe, already sold out, but you can still get some tickets to that Thursday game. Jackson, what should this will be your first? Carolina and State, especially in baseball, that one can get a little spicy. What are you looking forward to uh, this weekend? Yeah, I mean, it's a big weekend for both teams. Um, we see that it's sold out. That's always fun. Um, and then just kind of the rivalry aspect about it, too. That's always fun. You, got, you look forward to that sort of thing. So it should be a fun weekend of baseball. Hopefully we can uh, go out there and get them. Thursday, Friday, Saturday again in Chapel Hill, Boschmer Stadium. Final home weekend for the Tar Heels this year in the regular season. So looking forward to seeing you there, Carolina and NC State. Jackson, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me.